Hey challengers, it's Mary coming in live. Well, it's recorded for you, but from my house in Dana Point. Um, hey, so in, during this week where we're talking about kind of the mind-body connection, I want to talk to you about social pressure, otherwise known as peer pressure. So when was the last time you talked about peer pressure? Probably when you were like 13, 15 maybe. So it's real. Social pressure and peer pressure is a real thing. And it becomes really, um, it reveals itself in really interesting ways when you're on kind of a let's get healthy journey. I don't know what it is, but that's when the people come out and they try and move you off of whatever your goal is. So for example, it's really prevalent at the holiday times. And I find, I think it's just a form of justification. So you're at a holiday party and you're having your hummus and pita chips, or maybe you're having a little dip, you're drinking your tonic water, you're feeling good about your choices. You've come mentally prepared for that game. And someone strolls up to you and says, here, have this cheesecake, or here, have the artichoke dip, or, you know, here, how about whatever, glass of champagne, whatever. And you just kind of politely decline. And then the conversation begins. Well, why? What's the problem? Why aren't? Why don't you want that? What's your deal? Why aren't you? And as if their choices somehow make it uh, an impact on your choices, and if your choices are somewhat a judgment on theirs, they're not. They're two completely different things. What you choose for you is your choice and your business. And what they, what your friend chooses for themselves, uh, himself or herself is his or her business and you can have different choices and just have a great time at that same party so don't give in to the oh you really ought to try this it's really good let's do it just one bite it won't kill you blah 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 you're wasting away all that kind of nonsense what that really is is sort of a subconscious attempt to validate their own deal while invalidating your deal. And you're just not going to deal with that at all. So you want to make sure that whoever you surround yourself with, they're going to support you in your choices. And they're going to support you in your goal and in your mission to either lose weight or get healthy or get abs or whatever it is that you want to do. That, that the kind of social pressure that you're going to get is the positive social pressure, is the social pressure to keep going after your goal and that's supporting you in your goals and in your mission to achieve what you want because there's enough negativity in the world you don't need to surround yourself with people who are going to kind of take away from what you're trying to accomplish it's a tricky wicket so I guess my little challenge for you today as I pick up my pencil is to kind of think about who in your circle is supporting you and really wanting you to get whatever it is that you're going for and who in your circle, in even the smallest of ways, is kind of nitpicking against that? Like pick, 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 pick. Pick, pick, pick along your little foundation of what you've got going on. And I would say to you, as hard as it might be, you might need to protect your time and the amount of time that you spend with people who are doing this thing. You want to spend people who are doing this thing and embracing it and stoked for you and a little less time with the people who just might be getting under your saddle a little bit. Don't do that to yourselves. So that's something I want you to think about. We don't always talk about it when we're busy talking about macronutrients and micronutrients and protein factor and how much water to drink. But have that voice inside your head be the voice of positive positive reviews, positive social pressure, and for the negative Nancys in your life, tell them to zip their lip. Or, or call me, and I'll tell them to zip their lip for you. All right, that's what we have for you today. It's short, but uh, get you thinking about where you're spending your time and with whom you're spending your time. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye now.